Ferguson now books for approaching the final four minutes. And for McDonough, frustration has Dude, this match is really good. Zero Takeover vibes. Yes, sir. Matches have been great tonight. Alba and Isla was pretty solid. I think that was the weakest match of the night, but it was so good. What a match. Give JD something, says Austin. A little pause there for a second. Yeah, this match type could be good on the main roster, honestly. It's really good. They have to do this match more. It's been amazing. Oh! Poor, I don't think he's going to get a pinfall chat. He has, he has two and a half minutes to do so. Two and a half minutes for McDonough to get three falls to win. Or two to tie. If he, what if we have a five-way tie at the end? Gacy and Waller on the outside. Uh-oh, he's going to... You're a Nagi on the stairs! In a tag team match? I think that would be even more chaotic. I don't know if that would work. What do you mean, Jerry? I don't know what you mean. Nah, oh, uh oh, is Melo gonna tap? He's trapped in a submission. And there goes my Discord again. I don't know why my Discord keeps restarting. Oh! No difficulty, just only for ROH. I have no idea what you're talking about. JD's gonna get the falls to win, surely, right? He has a minute and a half. He doesn't have long. There you go, we will move to sudden death. Except for McDonough. If we go to a four way tie here, Axiom, if he taps, that gives Gacy the lead. Yeah, McDonough's done, man. He has 75 seconds to get two falls. Less than that now. Oh, code breaker! Headbutt from McDonough! What if there's a double pinfall at the same time? Like two guys are pinning like two other guys. He has less than a minute to get two wins to tie it. Axiom! Oh! Oh! Oh, I see what you're saying, Jerry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mello getting his third. No! Waller stops him. 35 seconds remain. Waller! Waller steals it. Waller's up three. Waller's up three. Waller has less than 20 seconds to become the number one contender. He pulls out McDonough to stop Mello. Now, why doesn't Melo go after Axiom? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Grayson Waller is your number one contender to Braun Breaker or Apollo Crews. He stole it. Melo Hayes was about to win it, and he stole it. I don't understand why he didn't go after Axiom, who was clearly still out and no one was fucking with. That's what I'm saying, LNRG. But then again, when you're under pressure, you know, your you're tunnel vision, you know you don't have much time. When you're in that type of set where you, you gotta go, sometimes you don't see everything that's available to you. And I think that was the case for Camelo Hayes right there. Grayson Waller with the victory, chat.